Hi guys, what's up? Back again with another video, which I'm super excited to film because I am a lipstick fiend. I love lipstick so much. So today I wanted to film for you guys my top 10 favorite lipsticks. So you guys can see what colors I love, what looks best. You can guys can see them on me because I'm going to include clips of me wearing them. I'm going to do arm swatches and the such. This video is definitely inspired by a video Kristen Johns did and I loved it. I wanted to do the same thing, so I'll definitely link her video down below, and we're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about my 10 favorite lipsticks, and I'm actually excited. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. If the lighting goes in and out, I'm so sorry. I'm using window lighting, and of course, the sun just keeps on going away and then coming back randomly, so. I'm pretty much gonna be describing the lipsticks from lightest to darkest, because I feel that, like, that works, and it'll like it'll progress. I don't know, but that's how I decided to do it. For the first lipstick, we have a super iconic lipstick that I'm sure that you've heard of because I think everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people have it and it is a MAC lipstick. It is Velvet Teddy, which is the most gorgeous nude in my opinion. This is the perfect pinky brownie nude that you can wear every day if you're going to a special occasion if you just need a nude lipstick it is matte but it is super super comfortable i really like the mac formula when it comes to mattes because even though they are matte they are super comfortable so this is definitely one that i wear so often obviously you can see i'm towards the bottom of the tube it is just the most gorgeous color and i think it's iconic for a good reason because stunning. It's so simple yet it's so stunning which is the best part. The second lipstick that I love is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lip in Bedtime Flirt. I've talked about this on my channel before. It's from the drugstore which is perfect because you got that drugstore price. It's also this pinky nude, more on the pinky side, that is just perfect for every day. Pretty much my favorite everyday nude that I would wear to school and the such. This is one lipstick that I definitely have to check on, have to reapply because it can get crusty towards the inside if you wear it for long periods of time. So if you get this or if you have this, definitely check up on it. There's definitely times where I've had to like scrub the inside because it looks, like, looks real crusty, but it is still such a gorgeous lip for a great price. The formula is definitely moussey on this. I don't know if people don't like that, but it's definitely a moussey type of texture. My third favorite lipstick is a lipstick I'm sure everyone has heard of because it was iconic from the moment that it came out and it is the Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Candy K. This was everywhere when it first came out. Just from seeing people wear it, I was like, I need it. I need it because it looked gorgeous on so many people. So obviously I bought it. This is my second tube because of how much I've used it. My second tube. It is a gorgeous on me deeper pinky nude that I think is so stunning. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. It really is. And I don't think there's too much hype around it. It really is such a gorgeous pinky color. And I do think it is unique in its own sense. I definitely agree that these can be very drying. Some people really don't like that. But if I find I use a chapstick beforehand or make sure my lips are very hydrated, it is beautiful. Last really all day so long like you don't have to worry about this one i always check on my lips but you definitely don't have to worry about this one slipping around and you know getting everywhere so i highly recommend this one my fourth favorite lipstick might be one of my favorites in the bunch it is beautiful it is the jeffree star liquid lipstick in christmas cookie he came out with this in his last holiday collection i saw it on him and i I just was like, that is stunning. I need it. And I, I can't control myself with buying lipsticks. So the packaging, I love it. It is this pink glittery situation. If you can see it, it's so gorgeous. Like, I love this packaging and it is the perfect, I feel like I've said this for every single one, but it's such a perfect everyday pinky nude. But I think it's like my favorite everyday pinky nude because it's also a unique color it stays all day on the lips it's a very comfortable formula it's not that drying oh my goodness like this color i've gotten so many compliments when i've been wearing this color being like what are you wearing and it's it's perfect it's gorgeous and perfect and i love it 
with all of my heart. I really need to get more Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and that's, that's really all I got to say. The fifth liquid lipstick I have to talk about is one that I don't hear talked about that often. It is the one that is currently on my lips. It's another Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Chloe Money, which is a collaboration she did with her sister Chloe Kardashian. They did a bunch of lipsticks and I think like a highlighting set. I'm not exactly sure, but this is one of the liquid lipsticks. It's definitely in like a different packaging, which I really like. I don't even really know how to describe this color. It's definitely like a dark nude on me, but when you see it on other people on YouTube, it comes across as like a nude. So it definitely comes off darker on me. Maybe that's just my skin tone. I don't know. I think it's perfect for fall. And it's just a unique color that I, I've never really worn before that I love. I love how this works on my skin tone. It's the same Kylie formula, so it is drying. Gotta prep your lips before. I don't know about you, but I love this color and yeah. Also, another thing with Kylie's lipsticks, I really like how they smell. A lot of people don't like how they smell. They think it smells way too fragrant and smells kind of like a like birthday cake or like birthday confetti. Yeah, I have no idea. So if you don't like fragrant lipsticks, definitely maybe skip out on the Kylie's, but I don't mind it at all. I think it smells good and I think the colors are definitely worth it in my opinion. My sixth favorite lipstick is different because this is definitely on the pinky side, which I'm not really a fan of, but I really like this one. And this is the MAC lipstick in the shade Please Me, which is a matte. It is very pink, but I mean very pink. I don't think pinks look that great on me. It's one that's like a bright pink, but it's not too crazy. It's not out there. You can definitely get away with it being like an everyday shade. And it is really, really pretty and comfortable. Definitely, you can wear this all day and it will be totally a-okay. Next color I have for you guys is definitely different. It's, it's purple, which I know some people are like, nope, skip, nope, nope, nope. I think it's fun and I think it's gorgeous. It's Max Up The Amp, which is an amplified lipstick of theirs. And it's this purple. It's something I typically don't wear. I just want to put that out there. I won't just wear this. I used to wear it a lot, but... It's not something I'm just gonna like slap on for every day, but it's something that's a beautiful color. It's different, it's gorgeous, and you can definitely pull it off going like out to dinner or I don't know, whatever you're gonna do. I think the best part of it is that it's definitely wearable. This is so fun, like if you're going to a concert or a festival, it's comfortable, so it's gonna last all day, and I just think it's it's a fun lip. My eighth favorite liquid lipstick is from Kat Von D and it is in the shade Double Dare. Now Kat Von D in my opinion has one of the best formulas on the market. I also think she has some of the most stunning unique shades on the market. I'm obsessed with her liquid lipsticks. I think I have like four. This is one of my favorites. It's called Double Dare. It's just one of the prettiest unique red berry colors. I don't even know how to describe it, but I think it's just so gorgeous and stunning. Definitely perfect for fall also, and it is just so comfortable, which is the best part. I love comfortable lipsticks that I know aren't going to be so annoying to wear, and I'm obsessed. It wouldn't be a top lipstick video if we didn't have one of the most iconic lipsticks of all time, which is my number nine color. It is Kat Von D's Lolita. Everyone's heard about it. It's kind of old news at this point, but I still love it so much. This is my second tube and I'm almost done with it. That's how stunning this shade is. It's definitely like a dark, purpley, mauve situation. Another one that's absolutely perfect for fall. So stunning of a color. She really nailed it with this one. And even though this may be from so many years ago that everyone was talking about it. I still wear this lipstick to this day. So comfortable, so gorgeous, and this will be one of my favorites of all time, always, I think. Now we're sadly on to the last lipstick, which is definitely the darkest in the bunch. I've had so many MAC lipsticks. I have four MAC lipsticks in this lineup. This is MAC's lipstick in the shade Diva, which I think is also well known, but I'm not sure. It is very, very dark and it is a matte. This very blood red purple situation, it's extremely dark. So if you don't like dark lipsticks, 
this is not for you it will stain your lips because it is that dark but I absolutely adore this shade this is so dark but it is so unique and stunning on the lips whenever I wear it I'm kind of scared because I'm like wow this is really dark but I'm always feeling myself whenever I wear this lipstick. Definitely one of the lipsticks that I check often and reapply when I need to because it can give you butthole lip, which is the worst thing ever. I hate it when I get butthole lip, but this definitely can do that for you. So definitely check it before you wear it for like seven hours straight and see that you absolutely had butthole lip. It's, it's stunning. It is a gorgeous color and highly, highly recommend it. This is the aftermath of putting them all on my lips and I can't wait to see the aftermath of my arm swatches. So yeah. So yeah guys, that was my lineup. Those were my favorite shades and I would love to do this video in like a year from now to see if I have any new ones that made my top 10. I love lipstick so much and I would definitely love to hear what your favorite lipsticks are. So please feel free to comment down below. What are your favorite lipsticks so maybe I can check them out. But yeah guys, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Duh. But obviously there's no pressure. Subscribe if you want to. Yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!